So, I've got a GoPro now? What am I gonna do with this thing? <clears throat> Has this been recording the whole time? Okay. A GoPro, if you don't know, is a tiny camera usually marketed at, you know, people who do extreme sports, skateboarders, snowboarders, sports boarders. I don't do any of that. Uh, my life isn't very extreme. Extreme! I'm wearing a wool sweater in August. Extreme! I drink too much coffee! Coffee! Extreme! But this little thing's actually pretty cool. Um, the audio isn't very bad, and it can be controlled with an app, which you'd need because it only has two buttons and the menus are sort of confusing. But the video quality's not too bad. I mean, it only has three settings. Too wide, wide, it regular, or something. I mean, even the shallowest one is pretty wide. And you wouldn't expect something this small to have good image quality, but it does, as long as you don't use the auto setting. Um, it's like a pro, what's the pro setting called? Is it, is it Pro Tools? Is it Prometheus? Protune. It's called Protune. The only problem I really have is that you can't play back the pro video while it's recording or even after it's been recorded through the app. It says this is because it's like too fancy to stream or something, but you play it back on the computer and it's just a video file. So for the record, I am not a audio or video engineer as demonstrated by the fact that I recorded this whole thing without turning the mic on. So this is like the second. So, I mean, it could be some legitimate reason it doesn't stream, right? But I can't think of what it is. I kind of suspect that it's a trick. What it means in practice, though, is that you're shooting blind the whole time, which is an interesting experiment or like, a, like an exercise, but not something you'd want to do just as like a default because you have no idea what it looks like. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I guess this is what the old film people had to deal with, but... We're in a digital age, people, you know? You can see it while it's recording if you switch it to the auto setting, the regular one, but that looks terrible and is really difficult to color correct in post, so don't do that. Here, let's, let's change the batteries on this. Birds in the trees do it. Even little Pekingese do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. Oops. Um, oh, hey, we've got two cameras running. That's fun. Another thing that they can do, uh, GoPros can do, are time lapses. Um, there's actually a free app GoPro will give you if you register your camera that you download for the computer. And I tried it with one of my, with a time lapse from my real camera. And, uh, I mean, it turned out really well. I liked it. But I did find out uh, it only takes so many frames at a time, and the resizing is so weird. It wants to stretch it out all weird, which I wasn't a fan of, let me tell you. And we're back online. See, that's the sort of fun trick you can play with uh, a two-camera setup. Can't edit out all the uhs, though, because it's live. Um... Uh um uh 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 mm, 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 mm. Oh, that app didn't crash my computer, so better than Photoshop, but it, it is a little weird and does take some getting used to. Uh, just like everything about the GoPro. Weird takes some getting used to. So now we're going to take this and go set it up as a time lapse in the forest. Uh, let's go! <laughs> so we're here in the forest. I set it up over here. 
pointed that way. The time lapse in camera has a maximum interval of a minute, but I set it to 30 seconds for a smoother um, ride. But I mean, it's going to be a lot, a lot more for me to deal with in post. Um, I think that's it. That's all I can think of. Uh, feel a little nervous standing right here. Hopefully, we'll see some wildlife or the weather change. I'm not, I, from what I could see in the uh, through my phone. Doesn't look like you can see the sky very much, but we'll see it do something. Something will happen, and that'll be good. Back to the studio. <laughs> and we're live, ladies and gentlemen. It is definitely tomorrow. I didn't just change my clothes to simulate the passing of time. I have carefully rearranged everything that was on the bed exactly how it was in the last shot because continuity all right let's go to that uh time lapse we had set up all night long it's got to be great right we'll see the sunrise we'll see some animals it's gonna be awesome prepare yourselves In hindsight, I should have maybe done some indoor tests before I set this camera up in like the middle of the forest where it's hard to get to in a with a battery that wasn't completely charged. I mean, it was almost completely charged. It was like at 98% or something. But I guess now we know battery doesn't even last 3 hours. <sighs> As a consolation prize, I did a time lapse of me setting up the studio this morning. So here's that. Sorry, here it is. That turned out pretty well. This was just supposed to be like a, a showing off video to show off the this cool camera. Um, Dad bought some stuff to hook the to hook it to the plane to hook this thing this this thing to the plane. So uh, we're gonna do some aerial videography and stuff. So that's. That's pretty exciting. Uh, look for that in the future. <sighs> it's going to be very interesting because apparently the battery doesn't last very long. All right. See you later. Um, remember to like and subscribe to your mom. Are you still going? Oh, shoot. Uh, later.